Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where the Juven Sovereign Planet States decided to strike back. They've taken over the XT94, or rather the X941 Singularity, there's no T in there, <laughs> but uh, that's completely fine. I mean, it did take longer for our reinforcements to get there than I had hoped, but fair enough. So this Unification Center requires a job. I feel like it's not really a unification center, but okay, we'll go ahead and put it in an admin office. That's fine. On this forge world, we need a job as well. We're going to upgrade our energy nexus. Actually, we're fine on energy. Never mind, unless this changes with the next month tick. We'll see, but for now, we're going to put in an industrial district. What else do we have down here? Okay, a forge world here. We need a ministry of production here if we can get one. There we go. This generator world here, again, we're reasonably fine on energy credits for the moment. That said, the more fine on energy credits we get, the fewer things we have to sell. So that's not the worst concept. Now this generator world here, we're going to put in an admin complex. We've got a mining world. Why is this a mining world? We're going to make that be a generator world, thanks. And we'll just put in an industrial district for now. On this forge world, we can repurpose a city district for an industrial district. But overall, we're not going to be able to put these jobs really anywhere. Okay, so we're just going to move them over to a different forge world, I think. If I can grab the scroll thing. Okay, that's strange. Oh, there's an offset to it. That's weird. Okay, that must be an issue with the UI scaling. I don't know. However, we do know that we want these to go on to like, I don't know, maybe boundary. Wait, that's our current planet that we're on. Uh, Roman 1 should be fine. So we'll send them on over there. There we go. Cool. And they might require more jobs here. We're going to go ahead and put in an industrial district just to be on the safe side. Okay, now, fleets. So, our fleet situation here. We have some ships being rebuilt. We are basically out of alloys, but we have a few being built. The diamond is up over here and chilling. That's fine. We're okay with that. The topaz is patrolling over here. We're fine with that as well. Now, the Nephrite is over here. We do want to take back the X941 Singularity, but we don't really have the ships to do it at this time. So, for now, we're just going to tick forward. Our ships will come back in... Under a month. I'm actually shocked about that. I expected it to take far longer, but I guess it's because there's an L-Gate right here. And they could just retreat. Okay, where are they attacking us? Uh, that's in Rastabon. We will be there shortly. Our star base Perfect. Is under attack. So in we go there. No problem. Fleet now, engaged. are these guys Get just sitting side. here? Or, okay, they're going up to attack. Are they splitting up? It kind of looks... They are splitting up. Okay. So, we don't expect that any of these stations hold. However, all of our fleets are back. Now, the Bronzeite only has three Corvettes left. Oof. Okay, that's rough. Now, they're minus 10 status quo. Mm-hmm. We're going to go through Lemsa with the Bloodstone Safit. We're going to reinforce that up to full strength, and we're going to send that to the X941 Singularity. From there... Yeah, Hadar would be possibly the fastest way. The Nephrite can also prepare to head over there. It would be 94 days, 264 here, if we moved through Pash. And... Uh, that's something we could do. And in fact, once we take this, 
in theory, well, we won't get this gateway, will we? No, we would be better off jump driving to Enigma's End for right now. So we'll go ahead and do that. The Ruby and the Bronzite, uh, they need some reinforcements. So does the Starite. None of this is very good. <laughs> we need 200,000 alloys at this point. We will continue reinforcing our fleets. We're going to take these weakened fleets and we're just going to leave them where they're at. They are no longer particularly useful to us. So we're going to take out this fleet here. And yeah, they're attacking up over this way. We expect that they win these attacks. That's a 200k space elf fleet. I would love to settle status quo right now. It's not an option at the moment. So the question then becomes... Is the Bloodstone strong enough to deal with this? Well, these guys are passing through. When will the Bloodstone arrive? 72 days. Okay. For the time being, just go to Hadar. Okay. So they're going to take back a bunch of territory over here. We're going to take the Diamond Safit, and we are going to have it start heading over to Bartium. Ruby, Bronzite, Silver, and Gold, and Starite. All of these are basically useless. Basically. The Nephrite is, of course, in Enigma's end now. We can reinforce that to some degree. We should just go ahead and hit this reinforce all button. The Opal has finished up over here. The Heavenite is heading down to Zolbak's Maw. And the Opal can't jump drive currently. So it will he also head to Zolbak's Maw. That will take it a long time to get there. So for the time being, we'll just have to allow this to be a thing. And of course, the Bloodstone, it's not going to make it all the way over. So. They've definitely kind of flooded this area with ships. We do need to deal with them. This Space Elf fleet is the dangerous one. We have multiple fleets on the way. And we should be able to clean this up, in theory. Now. I'm going to go attack Zipper here. Only 20k. Okay, I feel like we need to come attack over this way. They just came in here with a 22k fleet and a 2k fleet. That's not very threatening. Sounds good. So we're going to hit over there. And we want the Opal. We want the... Well, the Ruby is actually reasonably strong. We're going to take the Ruby down to Saskat's Maw as well. The Bloodstone is going to head down to Suscat's Maw for now. The Diamond is as well. So it's not quite ready to jump drive to Bartium. It will be very soon. Cool. We'll continue reinforcing our fleets, but uh, we're kind of falling behind on that. That's well understood. That was always going to be the case. We are fighting over here currently, and we definitely expect to win this, at least as soon as this tick is over. And there we go. So from here, we're going to hit Weezer, and in Weezer, they have an Interstellar Assembly and a Science Nexus. We're going to head on over there and eliminate this force. Okay, so currently in the Singularity, they have quite a lot. And there's not really a ton that we can do about that at this exact moment. We'll get there. All of these super weak fleets, they really, really do need to chill. Okay, so we're going to move the Nephrite over to here. Where are they right now? Uh, yes. The Nephrite's going to head on over. Perfect. How many fleets do we have here right now? We've actually got some decent fleets here. Once the Nephrite al arrives, I feel like we can head out. But I want to check in. Yeah, so Sargus is also going to head down over this way. 
We need to wait for them to move out of here. And they are moving out. Okay. So the Bloodstone is in Siskat's Maw. The Diamond is heading there. The Topaz is going to head there. But it needs to eliminate all of these guys that are really focused on taking Rastabon. The Ruby is there. The Bronzite is not strong enough to participate. The Nephrite apparently has been attacked. Okay, so they're attacking this station up here. This is not going to go well for them unless they bring in additional reinforcements. If they do, we're reasonably okay with it. But yeah, they just get wrecked. Beautiful. Okay. So. With the Bloodstone being fully ready to go, or almost fully ready to go, as soon as we get these ships constructed, the Opal will be arriving soon. 45 days on the jump drive. The Heavenite is here right now, and is going to jump on over to Suscott's Maw. Now we're keeping an eye on these fleets. And waiting for a solid opportunity here. So we're going to hit Kachada here. This is not going to be a problem in the slightest. There we go. And we'll eliminate this as well in a moment anyway. There we go. And now we need to head up over here and take Rastabon back. Cool. So. All of these guys, well, the Heaven Knight is ready to go. The Opal is heading over. Jump Drive will be ready in 10 days. Let's go ahead and Jump Drive to Zilbox Maw. Because we're still grouping up over here. And then from there, we're going to head to Suscott's Maw. Okay, we'll, we will continue to reinforce our fleets, but we're going to prioritize those into these fleets here. So we're going to put this into the Heavenite. Cool. And the diamond is here as well. So what do we have here? We have quite a lot here right now. That's excellent. So at this time, all of these fleets... No, I don't want this one. I want just our big fleets. So, our big fleets here. We're watching for an opportunity to attack the Elgate here. Unfortunately, the Space Elves are being kind of jerks right now. And just chilling in this system. So we're hoping that they leave here. Now they're offering us a status quo piece. If we do that, we would not get any of this. Hang on a moment. This is an opportunity. We have to hit this fleet right now. Go. Fantastic. We will eliminate this fleet very easily. And there we go. We will now head over to Sassen. Our real concern is these Space Elf fleets. The others aren't that big of a concern. So... If we were to status quo right now, they would get three systems. I consider that currently unacceptable. So we're going to head in over here. We're going to eliminate this unit, as well as this station. That'll be just fine. We're negative on food for the moment. That is fine. And we'll just eliminate this station and take this unit out. Beautiful. Okay, so our reinforcements are going to continue to come in. We're going to grab our five fleets here, and we're going to go hit the Singularity. Now, this is going to take a little while. That's okay. We have to hit the Singularity now, and they are fairly spread out. So, from here, we're probably going to think about Rimbors, perhaps? Not entirely sure. Okay, so we've got these guys in Rastabon. We've eliminated their units over here. So we're actually going to jump drive from here over to Cade. And then from there, we're to go to Koshap. 
Excellent. Now, these fleets over here, we will continue to reinforce as much as we can. Just keep our ships building wherever possible. We're going to pop through this L gate, and this is going to take losses, for sure. But we have to get control over this. And we pop through and almost instantly eliminate the station. Beautiful. And now the Space Elf fleet. Excellent. There is a second reinforcement Space Elf fleet that came through, but we should have plenty to defeat this as well. Fantastic. So, that's a big deal. We're going to leave this ADK fleet here to defend that. Then, we're going to send one unit down to Talarim. We're going to send, let's see here, these three for right now. We're going to send two to Wumjian, but we're going to send one of them actually to Yemether. There we go. Okay, so we have the Singularity back. We're going to take a bunch of territory over here. This is a 63k fleet. We don't have Jump Drive available. But that's okay for the moment. Cool. Now, this is a 90k fleet now. We're going to continue to reinforce that fleet. Okay, the Opal then needs to head down just the Opal. We don't need any of these reinforcement fleets. Just the Opal heads down to Zarim. And then once it's done there, we are going to have it turn around and come help defend this. Okay, now this fleet is going to jump drive to Kinas. The Ruby and Diamond are going to split up here. We're going to have one go here and the other go to Muse. Excellent. And we've got them pincered now. So this is perfect. We're going to come on in. We're going to take back Zarim. What all do they have claimed here? Muse and Ophaglia. So really all we need is these two. And this one. That's fantastic. So we have 89 influence right now. We will come back to that in a moment. But let's take take back these locations. Now this is a powerful space elf fleet. And we probably want to wait until we have both of our fleets good to go. However, they are good to go now and they're both going to go into Ophaglia. Cool. We're going to head into Diem. And that will be absolutely fine. They can try to break out through Kochab. That's okay if they do. We don't actually care. So we'll eliminate this Space Elf fleet as well. And they've not sent additional reinforcements through the wormhole. That's very good for us. We are in a lag tick right now. So we can check in on our job situation while we're waiting. Anything going on in here? Yes, this generator world should probably get, it should probably get an energy grid. We'll go ahead and do that. There's that tick done. This factory world here, we can go ahead and put in an industrial district, but this really should be a forge world. There we go. And this fleet will, of course, be eliminated. Perfect. So at this point, they get nothing and we get a lot. Perfect. We've got 99 influence. Let's go ahead and spend some last little bit of influence. So we need to make claims. And who are we going to make claims on? Damia? That would cost 65. Let's see. There is a colony in Famnu. Did we occupy that? We did not. Where have we fully occupied? Oh, we needed Fulas, didn't we? I believe we did not have Fulaz claimed. So let's make a claim on that. Yes. Perfect. We claim Fulaz. And now we settle status quo. They get nothing. We get 25 systems and six planets. That is pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with that do it. Okay, so they will accept that. 
And that's fantastic. We're going to get a lot out of this. Any moment now they'll accept it. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly when. But soon. Now they have multiple fleets over here. We would prefer not to fight at this point if at all possible. However, I believe this is the peace deal. I believe things are changing hands right now. These peace deals are usually pretty laggy in Stellaris. So let's see how that goes. Any moment now, peace deal. So we're going to get a lot of territory. Not as much as we would have liked, but we are claim limited. And yes, there we go. No further concessions on either side. Perfection. So... We are the target of CBs. The war ended with a status quo. We got a lot of territory down here in particular, but mostly we were cleaning up border gore. There's still border gore. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There's no doubt about that. But we're going to take all of our ships here, or rather all of our fleets. Every single one of them are, are going to head over to Haven Sky for the moment. We're going to all have them enter orbit here. Cool. So with that underway, we can now focus once again on preparing for a little bit here. Now, what is our truce like? Ten year. Okay, so we've got some time here. We definitely took some territory from them, and that is amazing. We're very happy about that. We're also at 94 out of 84 star bases. A lot of these star bases need to go, and let's see, the Fulaz station is probably one of them. We'll downgrade that. The Zarekan Black Hole Station will downgrade... Th Actually, no. This has this is an L-Gate system, and so we need a gun, gun, missile, missile, hangar, hangar over here. Okay, we'll leave that be for now. The rest of these, I believe, all stay. Yes. This station, we downgrade. This station is a clear downgrade as well. Okay. What else? Sasan station here. Yep, that's a clear downgrade, as is the Yamathur station and Wumjem. As long as we're not going to run into naval cap issues. Uh, let's see how we're doing here. We need five more? Sure. Let's look at some of these trade hubs. This one here is not connected to our trade network. Okay. Well, now it is. The Groman station over here, I think this is a clear downgrade. We get rid of that. The Talarum station, again, is a clear downgrade. We get rid of that. Now, the Singularity station here, we're going to run missile batteries and a hangar bay. We're also going to put in a target uplink computer. And we're going to put in a disruption field generator. Cool. So that puts us at 87. We need to get rid of three more stations. And of those, well, first off, this has been bothering me for a little bit. I'm going to grab the construction ship, and that's going to come over here and get these energy credits. So that'll be fine. This station is an anchorage that I'd rather not get rid of for the moment. This trade hub stays. The Maya station should probably stay, as well as the Brink station for the moment. We don't know what our overall naval cap is going to be. 2734. So we can actually drop it by like 100. Okay, cool. So Wum Jam then can definitely go away. So that puts us down to 86. Cool. Mufrid is, of course, a trade station that will be staying. There is... I believe there was a station up here in Taramba that we took over. That's a clear downgrade. So we get rid of that. That puts us at 85 out of 84. So we need to get rid of one more. We could try it for Aludra here. I believe we can afford getting rid of a single anchorage. And it kind of doesn't matter which one we choose. Belderam, of course, we don't downgrade. None of these we downgrade. Uh, Roman, we could downgrade, though. Yes, that's fine. 
Perfect. Okay, so that's the war over. And with that, it's also time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to work on balancing our economy a little bit and get, getting our slightly shattered fleets rebuilt and get our defenses shored up a little bit more for the next war. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time. Let's get rid of these edicts quick before I forget. Cool. <laughs> there we go.